So my big news today is that I got to wear real clothes. And that's very exciting because it means that I'm not wearing project clothes, which means that I'm done with our bathroom behind me. So since some people have been asking, you know, is it done yet? Is it done yet? I thought that now that it is just done, I would give a little walkthrough video. So if there's anything that I have done, uh, like a DIY, DIY blog post on, I will point that out as I go and I'll try to link those below. So here's a tour of my newly finished bathroom. If you have questions about anything, let me know if you have comments, whatever. I'm done, I don't care. <laughs> so first thing would be the new entryway. I had to make a new barn door because we wanted a glass shower door for the shower. And with the old door being right here, that swung right there and was just trouble waiting to happen. So we decided to do our barn door since it's just us that use this we don't need a lot of privacy for guests or anything so i guess first thing this would be the new shower i used foam board foam board yeah foam board um and epoxy to make the sides here and that little foot rest area and the sides and then this whole thing i ended up wrapping so that it kind of looks like a pillar we've got now a glass panel that goes from there in that in that space so it lets in more light than was there before before this was just one of those acrylic insert showers i think it was like 36 by 36 it was very small so we couldn't do a whole lot <laughs> making it bigger but i certainly think i made it better we got a new uh shower head on there which is very nice so you can see i made these niches with the cool tile in there so this whole back wall is a pebble stone tile wall. So it goes all the way through this glass panel here, which goes up to about there and then all the way down. So that's the view from in here. So this is just nice. Well, that's in a lot more light than was here before, especially with the, the glass door too, but that's, that's kind of a nice touch. So this was kind of funny <laughs> because this was an acrylic insert. They had the plumbing in here very, very funky. So before, and even now, the, the pipes actually come up through here and then go back into the wall. So I had to deal with that and I thought, well, why not just make a little shaving foot rest there? So that actually kind of worked out. So again, whole wall of tile which vertical tile application, not my favorite, but it does look really nice. And our new stand and tub here. And then I kind of revamped just this normal recessed light that was up here. So I do have a blog on how I did that, so I'll link that one. Obviously we need more towels, but <laughs> the textured wall that I did all around the room Kind of one of my favorite things, just adds kind of some cool movement and flow to the room. I do have a blog on how I did that as well, that I'll put below, and also the light fixture and how I updated that. That was just a standard one that was in here, the builder basic light that was in here. So cool in the mirrors I found. We put in these sinks, these faucets. I made this little stand out of our uh kitchen cabinet fronts, which match the vanity cabinet fronts, which it had a very like orangey stain veneer or something to it. So I just sanded that down and then put on a light white stain. And I think it makes it look pretty nice, especially with all the, the gray in here. I wanted a little bit of more warmth. So that was with the brown. And then I kind of like these, my knobs, they tie in nice with the this used to be the door handle on the old door that was there. So I put that up here. It's a nice place to just hang a towel as you're getting in the shower. If I can focus here. I made that tray again out of a kitchen cabinet front with the leftover tile. I did the floors. Uh, this was a pretty cheap tile, porcelain. So it's, it's nice. I did the kind of baseboard also in tile. And then 
This is another blog post that I have and how I did this. It's not just a mirror. It's also all of our storage. Because we didn't have a lot of storage in the bathroom before. So that adds in just a nice little helpful bit. And then these the countertops. This was actually the first thing that I did for epoxy in here. So I made the countertops. I just put up the tutorial of how I did that on my blog. So you can go look up that. I used basically the same uh, color method as I used for the shower. So it all kind of ties in nice. I did a waterfall edge here. So that goes all the way to the floor. And I think that's it. So that is my brand new, finally finished bathroom. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.